So we're going for Mega Man X2, but if I die, the video ends. Let's get this started. Hopefully you don't fumble, Radical. Alrighty, we're on to the opening stage. And first things first, that green backer dude right there. I'm gonna get killed in a couple seconds. Rest in peace, you miss sincerely. But who cares? You're off the game right now. So let's do this. So we cannot die here. I mean, well, there's like one moment you can actually die, but it's very easy to get through. I mean, Mega Man X games have very straightforward opening stages. So, like, I mean, the only exception that have like bounce pits is like, I know it was like the first game and I think Mega Man X7. I haven't played that one in a while. So, I mean, I did a video, you know, I made that in the video, but. So I haven't really, uh, what's it called? Wait, X7 at all, like, fully since, you know, that video, so. Yeah, so this part right here is uh, is pretty tricky, but you can just mash the dash and jump button and just shoot that right there and just progress, so. Yeah, very straightforward opening stage. Pretty easy, I mean, obviously you can get hit a lot, but it's a pretty easy one. Alrighty, we're on to our first boss. I mean, it's a pretty short boss to me. You can take the max amount of damage as boss, so yeah, just take five hits, so you should be good. So right here, oh, hit there, and there we go. Boss defeated. Now we can progress to our sages. <clears throat> All right, so I'm a wired sponge. This is the first stage I go to when I uh, play this game. Completion, you know, my main is completion, so. I go for a no backtracking route. Like, you go for, get all the collectibles, go a certain path without backtracking, and it's just perfect. And, you know, maybe one day I'll probably make a video where I, you know, show you how I beat, you know, Mega Man X1 to F4 without backtracking while getting collectibles, so. Yeah, it's not really that bad at all. I mean, I haven't done the later games. I mean, I have to, like, practice on that, but. Yeah, but the first four X games, you know, it's pretty easy to, like, there's a path you, like, you just go through. Yeah, I get the heart tank and you get the uh, e tank right there for your, fill up your, uh, your juice when, uh, what's it called, when you get hit a lot or you're low on damage. Well, low on health, actually, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, this, I really like this game, actually. I mean, personally, it's not no X1 or X4, and honestly, I've already played it over X3. X3, in my opinion, is kinda, kinda overrated because personally, I think that, like, there's just too much stuff to happen in X3. Like, I mean, like, there's, like, so much about the bullets they throw in your face, and, like, it's kind of, like, hard to memorize, you know, where everything's at. So, like, oops. So, oh, we got our, um, health thing right there, so we good. And, like, it's pretty straightforward, I mean, it's not necessarily, you know, that bad. I was say to do, so that, and we're on to our first boss. Okay, so... These should be pretty easy. We have no, uh, like, weapons, so... Well, Arden or X-Buster, so... Yeah, so... Pretty straightforward boss. Like, you know, the pattern, you should be good. So... Okay. Got a hit there. Okay. A lot of the enemies take, uh... Take pretty much, like, huge damage on you, so... You gotta be careful. But... Doing pretty good so far. Oops. Oops. Nope. Uh. Hey. Hey. Oh my god. Oh well. 